Enrolling learners. There are a number of ways in which your students can access your course. For example, your administrator might enrol them for you, or they might be automatically enrolled from outside, or they might be able to create their own accounts on the Moodle side and then enrol themselves into your course. In this video, we look at how you, the teacher, can manually add students to your course and how you can find out the other ways in which they can access your course. If we click the participants link in the navigation drawer and then click the gear there, we see enrolled users and enrolment methods. Enrolment means how students get into your course, whereas authentication means how they get onto a Moodle site, which we don't look at here. If we click enrolment methods, we can see the different ways that they're able to access or be enrolled into a course. The first one we see is called manual enrolments. This means that students can be enrolled into their course by the teacher. Note that for security reasons on our Learn Moodle Basics MOOC, manual enrolment is not available. Guest access here has its eye closed, so that means that currently no guests can look at this course but the teacher can enable it by clicking the icon. Self-enrolment means that users can enrol themselves by clicking a button. This is currently disabled again because the eye icon has a line through it. Clicking it to open it would allow us to give students permission to access the course themselves. Now remember that on our Learn Moodle site, teachers are not allowed to enrol students directly into their practice courses. But if we go to a different site and a different course, we can see how to do this. To enrol users manually, we click the Enrol Users button and then select the people we want to enrol and the role that we want to give them. We'll choose Student. As a teacher, we don't normally have the rights to enrol other teachers into our course. We have to ask permission to do that. From this screen, we can search for and filter users by role, enrolment method, group, status, and we can also edit and delete their enrolments. Now, this method is fine if we just have a few people to enrol into our courses. However, if you have many, it might be worth exploring other ways of allowing them access. In this course, on a third Moodle site, when we click the Enrol Users button, we see an option, select a cohort. A cohort is a group of users created by the site administrator or a manager, and we can add cohort members individually from here, or from the enrolment method screen where we were before, using what's called the cohort sync method. And note that as they are added, you can also add them to any existing groups in the course. But you'll only see this cohort sync method if your site has set up cohorts.